Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you how you can import a drone in Zambia. Most of the time I've received so many calls from different people requesting me to help them um, clear their drones because they have been held by customs. And in most people's minds, all they think is, no, my drone is being held because I don't have a license. But here is the thing, anyone can own a drone as long as you're above 18 but not everyone can fly so you can own a drone without a license but you need a license to fly it so most of the time people their drones are held and then they think oh because i don't have a license that's why it's been held but no so i'm gonna share with you step by step what you need to do when you're importing a drone so a few weeks ago i ordered a drone online um, and because I knew uh, what I was supposed to do before it landed, so I wrote a letter before, but then I think I did not send the letters then, then, because I noticed uh, when I was tracking the drone uh, on the uh, courier's website, um, it showed a bit of delay, so I didn't want to inconvenience civil aviation. So when, the moment it arrived at the airport, then I sent that letter to say, Dear CAA, I have a drone at the airport. I'm requesting for inspection and registration. So there are two things. Inspection, there is a fee for inspection and there is a fee for registration. So I sent the email. Then uh, the, dealing, the officer dealing with the issue responded to me um, saying, uh, this, let me just read the email. Um, we are pleased to advise you that the Arapas inspection will be conducted as requested. Um, be further advised that a fixation of Arapas registration marks can only be done upon meeting the following statutory requirements. So it's by law that you have to do those things. Uh, number one, properly complete and submit application form for registration for the remotely, remotely uh, piloted aircraft RPA application form CAA slash AR slash F slash 021. Present the drone for inspection by the dead CAA, so by uh, Civil Aviation of Zambia. Pay 1,260 uh, kwacha, uh, which is like registration fees. Then pay uh, 630 for inspection and acceptance of the RPA on the Zambian drone um, register. You must deposit the amount uh, into their account so the total comes to like 1890 so once i made the payment through a bank transfer then i sent the proof of payment to the civil aviation uh, dealing officer then what we're waiting for now is for the actual inspection to be done at the kk airport so once the inspection is done then ca is going to write to uh, zra to say proceed to clear the drone and they must pay the required tax. So because it's by law, you have to pay taxes. So let me just check how much taxes you have to pay. Uh, I think I have something on my phone because I use an agent to clear all my drones. So there's a, either if you want, I think you can clear it yourself, but I'm not just sure how much um, you'll be charged to clear it yourself. But it, if there's an agent, because it takes a bit of time, so mostly, I don't want to be running around whilst I'm trying to push things, then um, I should be uh, trying to push um, uh, ZRA as well. So let me check. Last time I imported a drone, there were fees involved, but the percentage is... I, I can't really find the percentages but it's like um yeah i found the percentages so there's custom duty which is like 25 percent and there's vat which is like uh, 16 percent so you are going to pay like 41 percent of the total um of your of the total cost for importing the drone so that's like now the cost goes up that's like cost of buying cost of shipping 
cost of registration and inspection, then cost of taxes. So once you pay that tax, then uh, the drone uh, is handed over to you, I think by your courier, depending on who you used for, for courier services. Then after that, for you to fly, you have to get permission. So as you wait uh, to get your registration, registration takes a bit of time as well. Uh, as you wait for registration, but every time you want to use the aircraft, you, if you are licensed, you have to write civil aviation indicating location where you are flying, which day, times, and then there is a fee you are going to pay. Then uh, they will refer you to Zambia Air Force as well so that you can get permission and you can communicate with the Air Force. I think most of the time I've been able to communicate with uh, the Zambia Air Force uh, uh, controllers because I think most of the time they're doing flights in different areas at low altitude. So it's important uh, to understand these things. So yeah, that's what I thought I should share with you um, in case you wanted to import a drone or in case you still have a drone that you are importing and it's still stuck at the airport. You don't need a license to do that. All you need to do is follow what I've highlighted. See you next time. Remember to subscribe, comment, share, 